Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Friday, so happy Friday for me. I'm really worried my mount is gonna fall mid-video because y'all know the struggle. Basically, I took it off my windshield uh, to move it inside to see if it would be like, it would like stick to my cabinets and stuff to film. And it worked really well for like one video. Then I decided to move it back to my car. Um, and ever since then, it has been falling. Ooh, it's been fall it's like gross roadkill. Um, falling periodically. And now the sticky part, because it is a suction cup but it also had a sticky part and now the sticky part doesn't work. It's like the suction cup doesn't work either. So it just randomly falls. Um, I'm gonna order a new one, I just haven't yet. So I think I'm gonna wait for my next YouTube check because I have everything budgeted out and I don't wanna spend my spending money on a mount. I'm gonna just take that out of my next YouTube check and there we go. So anyways, um, <clears throat> I have had a really great morning and I think so to catch you up if you haven't been watching my videos my boyfriend got a new puppy and uh, basically it's my puppy I feel like it's mine anyways um I'm gonna get over because I don't like this lane um yes it's basically our puppy that's how we look at it but um we have been working on potty training um really that's the only thing we're focused on right now I don't he's so we got him at like seven weeks it wasn't even eight weeks and as we've been looking up like potty training online like tips and stuff a lot of it says like between between 10 and 12 weeks is when you want to start potty training and that's usually when like how long the breeders or whoever you get the puppy from keeps the puppy so I don't know why we got him so early like I don't know we just did we just got him really early like it had nothing to do with us that was just when we were told to pick him up so we went and picked him up so it was saying like their bladders they should be able to hold their bladders closer to like 14 weeks um around there and get better at it so he's obviously going to be having accidents because he can't 100 percent hold it um but really he's only had maybe like two or three actual big like he fully peed on the floor accidents um the rest of them have been very uh little and just like a little like a little bit like he can't help it you know so I think that that's a good sign we're trying to get on a schedule um and I think that that's helping so we're you know obviously working on patience because you know we're not going to be able to read his mind even if we take him out constantly sometimes we take him out the second we get back in he pees so we're trying to get better at it um and try to be more on a set schedule and I think that that is working for us um yeah it's been crazy y'all puppy parenting is no dang joke I'm like I know some of y'all real parents are like you think a puppy is hard but legitimately uh yeah I do <laughs> I do think puppies are hard also me and Morgan were talking about this um at least babies you can like put in a diaper and not pee all over your floor every day so I would say that is one plus of babies so I would say that's one plus of babies is that they at least pee in diapers um for the most part um and puppies just pee wherever they go <laughs> but anyways yeah it's I mean training a puppy is hard and he's so young it's hard to be like he should be learning this because it's like I don't think that he can control his bladder fully but with that being said, he's doing so good. We've got him, I think, we've kind of got the schedule figured out. Um, and what we did today, I think is gonna work the best. Hope I'm gonna talk to Morgan about it, because that worked for me. I got up, normally Morgan is the one that gets up with him. He takes him out the late night, you know, the last one, Morgan will take him out. And then first thing in the morning, Morgan takes him out. And the first few days, we were letting him out throughout the night. Um, but we tried it one night just to see if he could sleep through the night and we set alarms and if he was sleeping we would just go back to sleep and he slept through the night so that's great he does fine we just bring his crate into the bedroom put him in there and he sleeps in there with us he doesn't cry he's super sweet my alarm went off at six and um I think he heard it and he was kind of like I could hear him like wrestling around so I went and got him we went outside he immediately went potty um so yeah, it worked out really great. And I really liked, I was up at 6 a.m. Um, just hanging with the puppy. I got to make coffee. I watched some YouTube videos. I cleaned up the kitchen. 
um, kind of, you know, fix the pillows on the couch, just whatever. And it felt really good to be awake and like calm and have time to do stuff before I had to get ready. So I like that. And I think I'll tell Morgan because for this week and next week, we're trying, I'm trying to stay over as much as possible. Obviously I have a cat, so I have stuff I have to do at home. Um, and hang out with him too, but I'm trying to stay over as many nights as I can at Morgan's house so that we can split the puppy training. Um, the puppy gets used to both of us and, um, it just helps with the routine if both of us can, can help. So at least for a couple of weeks when I go out of town, it's going to be interesting because I'm not sure what's going to happen, but, um, for now it's, it's working really well. So I think if I could do morning shift and then Morgan will take him out like the last before we go to sleep. Cause at that time my makeup is off. I'm in my pajamas. I'm not trying to put on shoes. So I think that that would just work best. And he, um, can sleep in longer than I can because he doesn't usually, sometimes he has to leave at like five. It depends on where he has to drive that day. But like today he doesn't need to leave until eight 30. Cause he doesn't have to be to the place he has to be two hours away until 10 30. So um, I just got up at six. That wasn't even the plan. I just set an alarm and said, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do puppy duty. Um, and yeah, about 7:45, I went in there and just told him, Hey, coffee's ready. Like whatever. Um, and he's obviously very grateful and always tells me like, do never like, you know, don't feel pressured. If you're stressed out on the puppy, like you can, you don't have to stay over. Like I, I appreciate everything you're doing. Like he's really um, you know, happy that I'm there to help and I like helping. So it's been fun though. It's been really fun. And, um, yeah, we just love that little boy. His name is Chance, by the way. Um, I guess he's eight weeks now. Well, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember what his birthday is. Um, wait, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, he is. Okay. He had him, or he had him. <laughs> Chance is born July 19th. So, however many weeks that puts him out. And we got him last Sunday, which was like Labor Day weekend Sunday. Um, was that like the second? I don't know. <clears throat> so, anyways. Yeah. He's a little boy. But he's so, so sweet. And he loves us already. And he's doing really good. So, that is puppy update. Um, moving on though. So I have coffee. This is, I was going to stop at Starbucks this morning because it's Friday and y'all know I love my premier protein and espresso on a Friday. Um, but I decided instead to just make coffee at Morgan's house. We bought the new Starbucks creamer. Um, I, we got the caramel macchiato one. There's a white chocolate mocha and I can't remember what the other one was that they had. Um, but I found it at Target. It's expensive. It's like five, literally $5. I think it's $4.99. I think it's a little bit excessive. But honestly, my creamer that I usually drink is like $4.09 or something like that. So really it's, I mean, it's not that much of a difference, but just $5 for creamer just seems crazy to me. But anyways, um, I really like it though. The caramel macchiato, it's not, you know, it's probably not Weight Watcher friendly, although if you fit it into your day, everything is. Also, if your team no count creamer, like myself, doesn't really matter. So, as long as you're not having a ton of cups and wasting, you know, hundreds of calories on it, I think you're going to be fine. Um, so, anyways, that's what I'm having this morning. It's delicious. And he likes, we always make the, like, community coffee or something like that. I don't know what it's called. But it's in a red bag. And, um, yeah, it's pretty dang good. So, that's what's up with me. <clears throat> um, I don't have um, a super plan for the rest of the day. I'm going to eat my meal prep. And I have a Sandwich Brothers turkey sausage egg white pita that I'm going to eat. That's 150 calories. That's going to be my breakfast. Because I ended up not having breakfast yesterday, which is weird. But it worked out because now I didn't get my premier protein and the espresso, which usually keeps me full. So I don't need breakfast, but now we have breakfast. So it all worked out. Um, then I'm going to eat my meal prep and tonight, I don't know what we're going to do. Definitely. We're going to stay home. Um, we'll probably grab something to cook because when I get off work, we're going to go to the store. Morgan will get off early today. So, um, we're going to go to the store, get some wings for the weekend uh, LSU, which is where Morgan went to school, <clears throat> um, plays Texas t 
tomorrow. Y'all are seeing this after the game has already passed, but they play Texas tomorrow, and he's excited to watch that game. I love football, so we're going to watch that. Say I love football. I love, like, football vibes. I'm not saying I know the plays or know what's going on. I know what a touchdown is. I was a cheerleader, so I know a little bit, like, offense, defense. Like, I know what's going on, but, you know, I'm not, like, staring at the game, you know, waiting for the next play or whatever. Um, I do like it, though. And I just love football means fall, and it's just, like, my favorite time of year. So, yes, we're going to watch some football. We're going to make, um, what else? Um, oh, we're going to make wings. So I want to do that honey chipotle sauce that I did in my meal prep. I just want to make the sauce, bake some wings, get them kind of crisp in the oven, and then, um, pour on that honey chipotle sauce or toss them in the sauce and then bake them for a few more minutes and I think that that is going to be good and I think I'm going to add a little bit of um like red pepper flakes or something to the sauce just to make it a little spicier because Morgan um likes spice so it might be a little bit spicy and then I'm going to do a buffalo version I think I'll do like half and half um, like a buffalo ranch version and that will be our little weekend treat but not that bad I mean wings aren't like the best they're not as lean you know as chicken breast but still cooking at home so I think it'll be just fine um and <clears throat> I don't know what else we'll do with that if we do anything um maybe like a vegetable or something we could do like some carrot sticks and just keep it really classic wings carrots and celery or something so we'll just see but, um, yeah, it's been a crazy week, a tiring week, um, just being up in the middle of the night for a few nights, and then for a few days, I was going to work, stopping on my lunch break, which I'm doing today. I didn't have to do it yesterday because Morgan ended up being home, but um, I'll go and check on him on my lunch break. Then when I get off work, I would go check on him, which I don't have to do today because Morgan will be there, but, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's just been... It's been crazy. I've been really busy, um, but I've got some editing done. I've got my videos uploaded. I have one more coming. I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to combine these two days or not. There are two days that are really far apart, but the vlog from when I was working in Missouri, it's like not that much footage that it's like almost why I upload it alone. It just doesn't seem like enough. So I think I'll like play that at the beginning and then like put, you know, fast forward nine days or however many days it's been until the next video. Can you stay in your lane? You're supposed to drive in the line, not on it, ma'am. I don't even know if that's a woman. I couldn't see her, but why are you driving on the line? It's rude. Yeah, that's our weekend plan. We're staying in. Um, I think tonight, yeah, we'll get something to cook. I don't know what we'll cook. I think we have some leftover tilapia. So maybe we'll have that and just grab like a lemon and something to go with it. Um, tomorrow we're going to do wings. We've got some potatoes left. So we'll do probably some sort of breakfast situation. Um, and just chill with the pup. Morgan usually golfs on Fridays, but he's going to skip, uh, he's going to skip today. I told him he could go. Like, I don't mind at all watching the puppy. Like, I have no issues with that. And I know he looks forward to his Friday golf. It's like his favorite time of week. Uh, but yeah, I told him he could go. I don't mind at all watching the puppy, like no big deal. But he was like, no, I really want to be here so we can try to get his routine figured out. Um, so he won't be going today and we're just going to hang out. Um, but yeah, I'm almost to work. This was a good morning chat today. I don't really think I weighed in. Um, I talked to my last, I think it was my last Friday chat where I talked about how I hadn't weighed in yet. So I did weigh in this week <clears throat> on Tuesday, which is a rant. It's like not my weigh in day. I just, it was a day that I felt like getting on the scale. So I did. And, um, I was at 157. So I've been sitting pretty much at like 155, like before pre-work trip and stuff. I've been sitting pretty much right at 155. Um, 
my lowest is like 154 point something like 0.6 or something like that so I'm about two pounds up from where I was two and a half from my lowest because I was at like uh 177.1 so I'm pretty much or 177 157 I can't talk 157 um so yeah I'm pretty close to where I want to be I don't think that I was as low as 157 whenever I got back so I'm glad that I waited and kind of got back into my routine so I think I kind of lost some of that bloat and water weight um and now we can see that two pounds and that's what I'm working on right now but be, having to be home with the puppy is really helping us so I think uh we'll be home eating at home this weekend and that will be that will be good so next week hopefully we'll be back to back to normal as far as the weight goes um but yeah, I think that's all I've got today. One time I was at this light and somebody next to me, which that, like, there's only one turn lane, the rest only goes straight. And somebody didn't know that. And they almost ran into me because they tried to turn from the outside lane and, like, there, there isn't a lane for them to be in. Uh, and now every time I'm at that light, I'm, like, paranoid that somebody is going to try to turn when they shouldn't be turning and they're going to hit me. So that's my current paranoia. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all have a great day or a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Comment if you want to chat with me. Subscribe if you'd like to stick around. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.